got all my partners Then they all around, they over there at Gaza Go big or go home, I put that on my compass The bands are with me, the fans are with me The enemy coming, I can't pretend Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an ex... Now the starting group for... <laughs> Tip-off goes to Denver. Now Murray. Pass to Porter. Murray outside. And here's Porter. Five on the clock. Stolen by Mitchell. Now Cleveland moving it up. Struce kicks to Mitchell. Over Porter. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Mitchell's got the first points of the night for the Cavs. Outside, Porter. There's the pass to Caldwell Pope. Outside Gordon. Murray down low, guarded by Garland. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. Mitchell. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the game. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Outside, Porter. We play just over a minute here in the first. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Six to shoot. Jokic passes to Caldwell Pope. Misses the three. And so it's Mobley now who brings it up for Cleveland. Right side, Garland. Mitchell outside. Let's it go with the three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Garland. Seven points for Donovan Mitchell. Caldwell Pope outside. Gordon trying to break loose. And it's sent back by Allen. Garland, the pass to Struth. And he makes that one. Oh, nice pass there. Garland with the great vision. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jokic inside. He's against Allen. Jokic, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now, here's Jokic. Following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Mitchell against Porter. Mitchell passes to Allen. The three from Garland. Another three for Cleveland. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. They're you know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Denver making a switch here. Pass to Strother. Passes to Brown. It's stolen by Struess. Moving it up. Here's Mitchell. And Cleveland again with the bucket. And they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, I agree with you. A big run taking place right now. And it looks to be the beginning of the end. Now here's Murray. Pass to Strother. Looking to end the run. Knocks down the three ball. 
With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Here's Mitchell. Nine points in the game so far. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Mobley finds Mitchell. Jacks up a three. Jokic grabs the miss. The Nuggets trail by nine. 116 left in the first quarter. And the pass to Gordon. Shot clock at six. Allen against Jokic. Over Allen. And that one's good, Jokic. All Jokic needs is just a little bit of room, and he's good to shoot it. You got to respect the scoring ability he has. Here's Garland. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Pass to Brown. Back to Murray. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Mobley. Yeah, you know, right there in that instance, you could see where Murray was able to take advantage of his size in that situation. This is his first free throw of the game. And last season's numbers show him at about an 83% clip, which is far better than most. Yeah, those were fine numbers he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Denver. Now, here's Garland. He's got five. Over Murray. Garland, no good. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And, and no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. For three, Mitchell. Here's Allen. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Boy, I tell you, this guy just does not quit on the boards. His energy is contagious, especially on the offensive glass. Here's Brown. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. The Cavaliers leading by seven at the guard positions. It's Garland and Mitchell. The big men on the floor for them. Mobley and Allen. And it's Struess in at the three slot. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. The Nuggets trail by seven. Passes it to Watson. Caldwell Pope against Mitchell. On the wing, Jackson. Clock at six. And the dunk by Jackson. It's easy to forget about Jackson's bunnies, but he's more than happy to remind you. Mitchell passes to Allen. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Jackson down low, guarded by Garland. Jackson misses. The Cavaliers leading by seven. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. Jokic is checked in for Najee. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Pass to Jokic. Over Allen. Jokic, no good. It's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. The shot's good. Mobley's got his first basket of the night. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Watson surveying the D. On the wing, Jackson. Guarded by Garland. Jackson kicks to Caldwell Pope. 
The Nuggets with another miss. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Struce finds Garland. Cleveland gets it back. The pass to Mitchell. Tries again. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Oh, nice touch there by Mitchell. Easy to misjudge that mid-range jumper. Pass to Jokic. Mitchell against Caldwell Pope. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his seventh rebound here tonight. The Cavaliers leading by 11. It's deflected. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Porter passes to Jackson. Caldwell Pope against Drews. Back to Jackson. To end the drought. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. The three from Garland. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. The Nuggets trail by 11. Outside Jackson. Here's the teardrop. That one, no good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Mobley kicks to Garland. Over Jackson. The Cavaliers again can't hit. They can shave the deficit to single digits right here. Watson's shot is off. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Garland. Another miss by Garland. The Nuggets shooting around 29% from the floor. A tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Jokic kicks to Jackson. Over Garland. Jackson misses. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Here's Mobley. Kicks it out to Garland. Fires for three. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Jackson passes to Caldwell Pope. Back to Jackson. Passes it to Watson. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Hey, you got to love that response. KCP not wasting any time getting those points back. Right back at him. Outside Garland. Back to Mitchell. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Allen. Banked in off the glass. Allen's got four points now in the quarter. Well, I like seeing Allen get this kind of position because you give him the rock there, and he can take care of the rest. Here's Jackson. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And so it's Cleveland holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. Cleveland leading by 11, taking a look at the Nuggets. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the center position. And bursting through inside, so difficult to contain when Mitchell's on the attack. Caldwell Pope outside. Six on the shot clock. And it's sent back by Allen. Don't challenge him. Get that out of here. Allen's almost seven feet now. He's got excellent timing and good bounce. Cleveland's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. 
And here's Garland for three. Here's Mobley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Mitchell against Caldwell Pope. It's Porter outside. Here's Jokic. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. Using that huge body down low, Jokic racking up some hustle points. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. The Nuggets trail by 13. Pass to Strother. For three, Murray gets it to go from beyond the arc. Murray's got seven. Immensely confident in his game. Murray doesn't think twice about pulling the trigger from deep, nor should he. Struce kicks to Garland. Over Murray. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Pass to Strother. Here's Najee. Here's Strother. Covered by Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Here's Strother. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Tell you what, that remarkable foot speed of Gordon's really causes problems for the defense. He's a hard guy to keep in front of. The Nuggets have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And both free throws good for Gordon. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Murray, the pass to Brown. Back to Murray. Pass to Strother. Here's Najee. Here's Murray. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Struz passes to Mobley. Over Gordon. Rebound by the Nuggets. There's the dish to Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. I think when you're guarding Murray, you're always worried about his jump shot. But he's also deadly off the bounce. So pick your poison. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Thompson, he's checked in for Jared Allen. George Niang comes in for Mobley. Okoro, he's checked in for Max Struess. And it's Ty Jerome in for Garland. And Denver also making a switch. Holiday's checked in. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. The Nuggets trail by eight. Denver passing it around. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. The Nuggets shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And I know the free throw shooting is an area they focused on improving coming into this season. The pass to Niang. Here's Jerome. He's covered by Murray. Second chance shot. The shot by Thompson, no good. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Pass to Brown. 
Murray outside. From 12 feet out, Thompson with the rebound. The Cavaliers leading by five. 107 left here in the third quarter. Shoots it up. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And Denver has possession. Passes it to Brown. Top of the key, Holiday. Pulls it up. And again, Denver no good. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Here's the Nuggets now with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Murray, good. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. And that one's good, Mitchell. And the strength of Mitchell here allowing him to beat the contact. Murray outside. Plays it up and banks it in. Murray's got nine points here in the second half. Murray locked in on the task at hand, not allowing the defense to bother his shot at all. Thompson for the triple. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And we've watched three so far in this one. Cavaliers lead by five. And time for. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The wing set for him, Mitchell and a coral. Niang out there with Thompson. And it's Jerome in at the point guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Caldwell Pope. This is exactly what an MVP candidate looks like. Jokic can carry the team, yet totally unselfish. Here's Trother. And he throws it down hard with one hand. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers momentum shifters especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome and guys let's get your take on the hustle stats for cleveland their ability to rebound and convert those second chance opportunities has been a running theme throughout they haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points well they should be looking at a three-point lead hopefully for them that miss won't cost them and so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. And, you know, you look at the evolution of Murray, and it's exciting to watch, quite honestly. He's a combo guard. He's got great range and scoring ability, but I like the way he's developing as a playmaker, too. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Murray to take the lead. And there's another one for the Nuggets. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Out to the right wing. Here's Trother. He's covered by Thompson. Good D by Thompson. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. They trail by one. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Strother. Stolen by a Coro. Oh, and here we go. Coro's got it. The fast break chance. There's the triple. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. 
Caldwell Pope for three. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. A different look now for Cleveland. Mobley comes in for George Nia. And it's Garland in for Ty Jerome. Gordon's checked in for Denver. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game, Kevin. All right, David, thanks. Good to see Gordon coming through with a big basket. I mean, he's no stranger to these high-intensity moments. Cavaliers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Mobley outside. Out to the wing. The three from Garland. Here's Thompson. An easy two points on the layup. And the Cavaliers lead by two. And there's no quit when it comes to battling there until the final whistle. What a putback. Understands his role, does his job, and he did it right there, Greg. The timing couldn't have been better. Here's Gordon. Mobley with the block. And they're able to recover. And that one's good by Porter. Here's Garland. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. From the arc. The shot by Mitchell, no good. The Nuggets have gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Caldwell Pope, good and a nice assist from Porter. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to 2 now for Denver. Cleveland's gotten just 1 of 4 three-pointers to go down for them here on the 4th. Here's Thompson, and no good that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. The Nuggets shooting here about 46% for the game. And a wide open look for Porter. Offensive rebound. And the ball travels out of his hands. It was last touched by Jokic. Christian Brown's checked in for the Nuggets. One ten left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Okoro. He's guarded closer. The shot misses. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's good! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Garland kicks to Mitchell. Over Caldwell Pope. Second shot opportunity. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're ahead by two. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Denver making a switch here. Porter's checked in. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Jokic against Thompson. Jokic kicks to Murray. Back to Jokic. Over Thompson. Misses off the right iron. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Over to the left wing. Garland, that's for two. Oh, off target. The second chance effort. It's in! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Denver calls timeout. Eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And so here's Denver. Jokic passes to Gordon. 
Missed inside. A deep three for Mitchell. Oh, it's off the mark. And we're going to overtime. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we'll be back right after this. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. And here are the Nuggets now. And so in the game for the Cavaliers... The big man on the floor for him, Mobley and Allen. Then it's Max Struess. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. And it's Jerome in at the point. Here's Murray. Clock at six. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Murray outside. The pass to Porter. Now here's Murray. Outside Gordon. Six to shoot. Offline with his three. The Cavaliers shooting 43% for the game. Here's Mobley. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. In the corner, Murray with it. He's looking for Gordon and finds him. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And when Gordon is launched and in the air like that, he's a mesmerizing guy to keep an eye on and just get out of the way. And it's Mitchell missing. Denver in the lead. To the paint. Gordon dishes to Murray. Pass to Jokic. We're in overtime and 90 seconds gone here in what has been a great one so far. Jerome passes to Allen. And yes, it's good. Allen's got it all tied up now for the Cavs. Sounds like a rock concert in here. And guys, that was the bucket they have been waiting for. Denver calls timeout. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Justin Holliday. Caldwell Pope against Mitchell. And Jokic slams it in. When it's an important possession, Jokic steps up big. The Cavaliers have gone one of three from the floor since the start of overtime. Mitchell passes to Jerome. Over Murray. That one wide left. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Mitchell, this is DeMobley. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Over Caldwell Pope. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Murray, the pass to Jokic. I really think this is the strongest part of Allen's game, guys. I mean, his instincts on the defensive end are already platinum level. Spruce kicks to Mitchell. Allen inside. He's against Gordon. Allen shot is off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult 
as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. At the line, Murray, pretty consistent, but there's a lot of added pressure here. Let's see if he can come through. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're behind by five. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. Passes to Okoro. From past the arc. Here's Mobley. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. And that one misses. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. They're honestly just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Young fella really coming into his own now. Porter Jr. continuing to develop into a marquee player. Pass to Okoro. Shoots from the corner. The shot comes out. And so it's Denver who comes out on top here. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime. And, and this win has to feel satisfying. Jamal Murray. 